This section, Getting Started, covers general information you'll need to begin using your Centria, including moving and carrying your Centria using the handle tilt latch, using the toe touch control, adjusting for proper power nozzle height, using Tech Drive Power Assist, installing or changing allergen reduction disposable filter bags, emptying the mini emptor, and understanding the belt lifter. Your Centria is equipped with Tech Drive. This variable power assist actually senses the speed and direction of the Centria and provides up to 90% of the power required to move it back and forth. To engage the Tech Drive, push down on the red side of the Tech Drive pedal. Tech Drive must be turned off in order to push your Centria when the motor is not running. To do this, raise the nozzle and push down on the gray end side of the power assist pedal. The N stands for neutral. Turn the power off, then unplug the Centria. Now you should be able to push the Centria freely. Your Centria also has a convenient handle tilt latch, which allows you to lift the front of the Centria over door thresholds or throw rugs. To do so, push the handle tilt latch toward the bag. Then, pull back on the handle until the front of the Centria lifts up. The tilt latch will also allow you to store your Centria in a vertical position. Lower the handle all the way down and move the tilt latch away from the bag. You can now stand the Centria up on its bumper for storage. When you're ready to use the Centria again, you'll want to unlock the handle tilt latch by moving the tilt latch to the center position. However, never unlock the handle tilt latch without holding on to the handle. The handle is spring-loaded and could fly up when unlatched. It's important to adjust the power nozzle to its proper operating height. Make sure the power nozzle is up by stepping on the toe touch control bottom pedal. Turn the Centria on. The toe touch control adjusts the power nozzle to seven different positions. The highest four positions are used for attaching accessories. Positions number one to three are used for carpet and floor cleaning. Positions number one to three are indicated when the number shows directly in front of the toe touch control upper pedal. Turn the unit on and press the toe touch control upper pedal four times until you see the number three in front of the toe touch control upper pedal. You are now in the highest floor cleaning position used for high pile and plush carpets. Press one more notch down until you see the number two in front of the toe touch control upper pedal for the medium position. This is the most widely used position for all types of carpet, including medium to medium plush. Push one more notch down for low until you see the number one in front of the toe touch control upper pedal for the lowest position for low pile carpet and hard floor cleaning. As a quick adjustment procedure, step on the upper pedal, lowering the power nozzle one notch at a time until you hear a change in the tone of the motor. This means your Centria has sealed to the carpet. Then, press the toe touch control upper pedal one more time and your power nozzle will be at the proper height. A disposable filter bag is required for proper operation of your Centria. Before installing or changing a disposable filter bag, unplug the power cord from the wall outlet and make sure the motor and fan have stopped. Then, unzip the outer bag starting on the top left and continuing all the way down the right side. Pull out the top adapter and disposable filter bag. Always replace the disposable filter bag when dirt reaches the full line. Failure to do so will affect performance. Hold the top adapter steady while you turn the disposable filter bag's cardboard faceplate to the left. Gently pull off the bag and throw it away. To install a new filter bag, align the slots in the cardboard faceplate with the lock tabs on the adapter. Then push the adapter into the bag opening and rotate the cardboard faceplate to the right of the disposable filter bag. The bag support strap should be attached to the top adapter. This is required for proper operation. If it is not attached, thread the strap through the small hole of the top adapter. Then place the hole in the strap over the stud on the adapter. Finally, insert the bag adapter and the new filter bag into the outer permanent bag and zip it shut. 
To purchase replacement disposable filter bags, contact your local Kirby distributor. Or if distance or convenience is a factor, you may also call Kirby. The Mini mTOR is designed to collect large, heavy particles, which can be emptied by removing the Mini mTOR. To remove, grasp the Mini mTOR underneath by its handhold and rotate it away from the body of the Centria as far as it will go, then lift it off. The top of the bag is released from the handle by pressing the bag release button. Position the front opening over a newspaper and shake it to remove the particles. Though your Centria can remove larger debris from your floors, never intentionally pick up heavy objects such as coins, screws, large rocks, or similar objects. It may cause damage to your Centria. To reattach the bag assembly, line up the raised indicator line on the Mini mTOR with the indicator line on the air exhaust port. Then rotate the Mini mTOR toward the Centria and lock it in place. The Mini mTOR must be securely locked into place or the Centria will not operate. The belt lifter on your Centria serves two purposes. The first use is to engage or disengage the brush roll. The second use is to allow removal of the power nozzle when converting your Centria for use with various attachments and optional accessories. To disengage the belt and prevent the brush roll from rotating, make sure the power nozzle is raised to its highest setting. Make sure the Centria is unplugged. Raise the headlight hood. Flip out the handle on the belt lifter. Turn the handle to the left or counterclockwise until it stops and the red arrows line up. Return the handle to its closed position. Lower the headlight hood and your Centria is ready for use as a straight suction cleaner. To re-engage the belt so the brush roll rotates, turn the belt lifter to the right or clockwise until the green arrows line up. Turn the handle to the closed position and lower the headlight hood. Your Centria is also equipped with an innovative brush roll indicator light. It is located on the top of the power nozzle. When the brush roll is operating properly, the light will shine continuously. If the brush roll indicator light flickers or does not come on when using the power nozzle, the brush roll is not working properly. Either the belt is not engaged or it may need to be replaced. Replacing the belt will be covered in Section 5, Operating and Maintenance Tips.